month plan from Colonial Pen? I am. We put it off long enough. We are getting that 995 plan today. Is it time for you to call about the 995 plan? I'm Jonathan from Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. Sometimes we just need a reminder not to take today for granted. If you're age 50 to 85, you can get guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance starting at just $9.95 a month. There are no health questions, so you can't be turned down for any health reason. The 995 plan is Colonial Pen's number one most popular whole life plan. Options start at just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate can never go up. It's locked in for life. Call today for free information. And you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. So call now. Call 1-800-523-9696 for free information and your free gift. That's 1-800-523-9696. 1-800-523-9696. Call now. Hello, Colonial Pen. Right now at 3, a deadly accident on the bleachers outside Villa Park High School in Orange County. What went wrong? And an attempt to defraud an insurance company didn't go as planned. What went wrong for a group of friends in Lake Arrowhead? Plus, Shauna. Hey there, Animal. Talking about the weather, it is nice and quiet for now, but we've got a storm on the way that will bring those temperatures down and bring some snow to the mountains. All the details in your first alert weather forecast. The NBC4 News at 3 starts now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Annabelle Sedano. We begin at 3 with growing concerns for business owners in Van Nuys. They say a homeless encampment are creating a series of problems, including sparking this fire that you see right here. A large plume of smoke went into the air today. And NBC4's Jonathan Gonzalez joins us live. Jonathan. Yeah, Annabelle, that fire happened just down the street from where we're standing now, and business owners in this area say nothing is being done about it. In fact, they say the problem with the encampment down the street here is only getting worse. They say the fire today only lasted about 30 minutes, but they say it's one of a series of issues they continue to deal with every day. The plume of black smoke coming from the center of the San Fernando Valley Thursday morning could be seen for miles, but up close in Van Nuys. Aside from being an eyesore, it's unsafe. Businesses nearby are too familiar with the source of the smoke, a trash fire burning in this large homeless encampment along Oxnard Street right off Sepulveda Boulevard. All kinds of just junk. We've had issues with rats coming in here. Christopher McNair is a senior manager across the street at the Electro Rent Corporation. He watched as it took fire crews more than 30 minutes to put out the fire, which he says is one of a series of incidents at the encampment in recent years. I have guys in here um, working. They're afraid to come in in the morning at 5 o'clock in the morning because it's dark because they're getting accosted by these guys across the street. <laughs> We witnessed some of that behavior this morning as two men from the encampment argued with our news crew and several others to stop filming. McNair says the encampment has been cleaned up multiple times over the years, but has grown over the past year to more than two dozen tents and mounds of trash spilling onto the street. Our trucks can't get in to deliver and uh, pick up stuff, so it's affecting our business. We reached out to the offices of Mayor Karen Bass and Councilwoman Nithya Raman. We're awaiting a response to see who owns the land and what plans are in place to clean up the encampments and offer housing. Meanwhile, business owners here say they're tired of dealing with what they call unchecked crime and danger. It's, it's a security risk. You know, this retired Marine is really, really nervous about the safety of my guys in this building. And again, we're still waiting for a response this afternoon from city officials, the mayor's office, as well as uh, Councilwoman Nithya Raman's office. However, we did speak with an LAPD officer who showed up to this scene. I asked him about the history of this area. He said he himself had personally helped clean up this encampment multiple times over the years, and that in his experience, every time they do a cleanup, people are back at this encampment within hours. Reporting in Van Nuys, I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. We'll send it back to you, Annabelle. All right, Jonathan, thank you very much for that update. Meantime, we're following breaking news. At a high school in Orange County, the Orange County Fire Authority says there was a deadly construction accident on the Villa Park High School campus today. Firefighters and deputies responded to a call about two injured construction workers around 1130 this morning, adding that the accident happened in a construction zone. One worker was taken to the hospital. The second died on campus. Students say the school's gym is currently undergoing renovations. Orange Unified says no students or employees were hurt or in danger. 
New at three, a major bust in the Inland Empire. Thousands of dollars worth of stolen goods were recovered from a storage unit in San Bernardino. This is video of